Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the channel on episode three of Matt's Clio 200. Finally, we take the car on the road today. Now, for those that have watched the previous two episodes, we made just over 20 horsepower and 16 foot-pounds of torque. In the grand scheme of things compared to a turbo car, it's not huge gains, but for a naturally aspirated, highly strung engine out the factory, that's good going. So like I say, in today's video, we'll take it out on the road and see what it's like on the real world. So to recap before we get out on the road, as we had a few comments about it, what did the Engine Dynamics Stage 2 package consist of? Well, essentially it's the camshaft package with the ECU calibration. It's the CatCam 403 profile, which again, I'll put the link in the description for all of Andy's packages that he offers. We did run an aftermarket intake system, aftermarket exhaust manifold, and a cat back just to get absolutely everything out of it. Now, when we was talking to Andy, he did say the standard airbox is pretty good, but when you get up into the higher RPMs, especially where these camshafts delivered, it can become a bit of a restriction. So we went with the open filter. In traffic, it is gonna suffer with a little bit of heat soak, but on the road, when moving, it drives and sounds absolutely fantastic. And to be honest with you, it's as close as to throttle bodies as I think you'll ever get on this without actually installing a genuine ITB kit. So last thing we'll go on to with the cat cams, as we mentioned, you do sacrifice a little bit of lower RPM, but it does make a wonderful, wonderful, almost like offbeat idle rally sound. Really, really cool. So we are finally on the road for part three and actually in the car. So, what's it like? Oh, the noise. Ugh. Man, naturally aspirated stuff is just right on the sweet spot now. God, listen to it. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So. As you would expect from the rolling road graph, 5,000 RPM upwards, just, oh man, it's just such a pleasure to drive. So driving below that, we're at 3,000 RPM now. Let it come down a little bit more. Two and a half thousand, let's go to fourth. 3,000 RPM, foot down. And you've still got good drive. What a note, all the way. And then it starts building, building, building and a junction but what a sound so even with normal driving and i guess for most people who own these they are going to daily them. not everyone is into track driving you can still drive it completely normal say third gear we'll drop it all the way down 1500 rpm light throttle still pulls away. If you put your foot all the way down, you're just greeted by enormous induction how, which to be fair, the standard car does anyway. They're far from a torque monster. But when you get above that, just, that's two and a half. Here we go, it's going, it's going, it's going. Gah. And the throttle response, just beautiful. Still just naturally aspirated stuff just does wonders for me. It's the kind of machinery I like driving. And do you know what? If I was to buy one of these, I've got to say, I would definitely have the package done because it really does just wake the whole engine up. I wouldn't say it was as wild as VTEC, but it certainly reminds you a lot of that because you're always chasing that sweet spot rather than just, I guess the standard, these are not that they're not peaky up top, but they are very linear in the way they deliver the torque. Whereas now it hits the 5K and you really feel the car surge, which obviously isn't something you guys are going to experience in front of the camera, but actually on the road, wonderful. Thank you. 
and again like now it, it just makes you want to work the rpm oh. straight down into the corner little red match oh. such a go-kart tight left hand up back on it again and it's the thing with these cars is we've stuck completely to the speed limit through there it's a national speed limit area the chassis is just wonderful on these if you haven't driven a 200 definitely tick it off the list if you enjoy tight nimble handling cars so so much fun and as we said matt didn't want to go mad with this you can supercharge them you can turbo them and the engine dynamics who did the cam package offers all that but i think in today's age where you can still get in this it will start every day on the button you could take it to a track day fly around on the track what more do you want and the beauty is, is if you are doing the cam package if you need a cam belt that ticks it off the list for another couple of years if you've just had your cam belt done obviously you're going to have to weigh up the expense of doing it again but i mean let's let's bring it right down first gear we're now on a nice little national in mexico and god the noise all the way up to 60 mile an hour again just a bit of a short video really some clips of it in action flying by i hope you enjoyed the part three there's not really much to talk about the car in general because we've gone over that it was more just the experience on the road but as i said in terms of having so much fun just blasting around on the b road and the surge like i say at 5000 rpm four five six k seven k Awesome, absolutely awesome. Let's do one more quick pull. guys hopefully you enjoyed the little mini series on the clio 200 stage 2 package with engine dynamics the next video we are going to be going to blighton park in the renault sports i'm going to be dusting out the mark ii for the day it's the renault sport day i've booked track time should be an awesome one i'm obviously going to have the cameras rolling so if any of you guys are down at the clio sport day come over and say hi hopefully me and matt will be down there he'll be in this i'll be in the 172 cup so until next time guys thanks for watching Thank mm -hmm. you.